What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys didn't see my last video on skinning a coyote, go check that out. I'll link it up above right now. But in this video, we're going to go through fleshing out a coyote. So I've got the coyote that I just skinned in the last video. We're going to throw him on the fleshing beam and get to fleshing. And I'll kind of go through some of the details of where exactly I'm fleshing because I feel like there's not a lot of videos out there that explain where exactly to flesh and what you need to take off and remove. Um, I know when I did my first one a couple of years ago, I've watched a bunch of videos online, but none of them explained it super well. And then I ended up getting into the guard hairs. I ended up taking too much of the flesh off. So I'll go through and try and show you the areas that I look for when fleshing a coyote. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first step is you're going to need a fleshing beam. This is a fleshing beam that I made out of a 10-inch piece of PVC pipe. If you don't have a beam, you can buy fleshing beams or you can build your own. There's a bunch of different instructions on the internet. And you're probably going to want some sort of a nylon PVC plasticky type apron. Um, it helps, makes things a lot quicker. So I'll throw my apron on, and the reason you want the apron is you're going to use your body weight to hold the coyote in place while you're pushing. And other than a fleshing knife and a skinning knife, that's all you're going to need to flesh out a coyote. So I start out, just throw them on the fleshing beam. Pull them all the way down to the head. And I start by cleaning up as much cartilage as I can on the nose. So when I cut that nose, I cut the cartilage a little bit long. So I like to come back, shorten that up as much as I can. Basically remove that piece of cartilage. Next, you want your fleshing knife, and there's two spots between the eyes and the ears that have flesh. So you're going to want to start pushing in that area. And you basically push those all the way down to the ears. You can see those two strips. I pushed them all the way down, and now I'm going to use my knife to trim them. You can basically trim it all the way back to the ear cartilage. like so. And I'm going to go grab a waste sack to throw the flesh in. Okay, so I trimmed the nose and I did between the eyes and the ears. Got all that flesh off and now I'm just going to clean up the ears a little bit. Any of this excess cartilage, just keep it trimmed down. Um, just helps it dry a little bit quicker. So basically what I like to do, I'll just stab through it. Get a cut started, and then just go all the way around, trim it off. And it just helps the ears dry out a little bit quicker if you, have, if you leave too much cartilage on around the ears. cut started. And just take that line of cartilage right out of there. So that's it. You got nice big ear holes. The ears are still intact. And now I'm going to move on further down the hide.
And all of this is just pushing. I'm not using the cutting edge for any of this. But basically, right behind the ears and the top of the neck, there's not a lot of flesh there normally. So you can just kind of clean it off, see what it looks like. I've got one line of flesh right here. So just clean that up a little bit. And now I'm going to spin them around. So the bottom of the neck really doesn't have any flesh until you get down to the brisket area. And so you'll have a line of fat and meat depending on how you skinned them right here along the brisket. And you want to push all that out of there. So you get that area pushed down all the way to the legs and then that's pretty clean and then the next area you're going to want to hit is right underneath of the legs. So I'm going to pull them up a little bit and get started on that. So you can see where this line of flesh is. Start pushing. Same with the other leg. You get those two spots started. Pull them up a little bit more. And then it, the line of flesh will come all the way around to the belly between the legs. So you get that started. Pushing it all the way down, and then I'm gonna spin them again and go back to the back side. We're right here above the shoulder, you can see this line of flesh. I'm sorry my beam's so squeaky, it's the PVC between the wood. Rotate them and basically you're just going to keep working that same line of flesh all the way around the hive. Just keep spinning it, keep working it down. And I'm not pressing super hard into the hide, but just enough to get it rolling. Just keep spinning them, keep pushing it down. All the way around. reach a point here on the back where that head that flesh is going to start to separate and just keep pushing it as far as you can
removed his manhood. And get that out when I was skinning. All right, so my battery, camera battery died sometime during that and I wasn't watching it, so I don't know exactly when. But you wanna make sure the hind legs are real clean. There's a lot of flesh in there. Get that all out. And then move back to where you were pushing off the back to the base of the tail. Get all that flesh and fat pushed down. Usually right around the base of the tail there's quite a bit of fat. And then we'll move over to the other leg. Just push all the inside of the legs. There's a lot of tendons and stuff in there. So a quick review. Right between both of the eyes, between the eyes and the ears, you want to flesh that out. Usually down the back of the neck there's not a lot of flesh, um, but if you can see fat in there you're going to want to push it. And then you'll get down to the shoulders. Um, that's basically where you're going to want to start pushing the entire hide all the way out. So from the shoulders, and then on the bottom side, from the brisket, down to the front legs, and then under the front legs, it'll join up all the way around with the shoulders and push that all the way down. And then once you get down to the bottom, um, each of the hind legs, you're going to want to make sure you push all that out. So both legs have um, quite a bit of flesh in them. And then basically, you're going to throw them on the stretcher. And when I throw mine on the stretcher, I'm sending them to the tannery. I'm not sending them up for sale. I got a little bit right there I need to clean up. But I put a little bit of salt in their tail to help dry, keep that dry and then a little bit of salt around the ears and that's it so but that's basically all it takes to flesh out a coyote it's not too bad it takes me oh probably on a fresh one i can do it in between five and ten minutes on one that's been frozen it takes me probably 15 15 to 20 so way easier when they're fresh both skinning and fleshing so but that's going to do it for this guy or for this video guys um, if you have any questions drop them down in the comments below if you haven't already subscribed to the page we've got more trapping videos coming we'll see you further down the line thanks again